Hey guys, as I'm changing wheels and tires with a capper, I'm noticing an issue. I thought maybe it was just my cheap knockoff wheels that I use, but no, it happened with these uh, Duratrax as well. So I went looking online in the Facebook group and somebody else posted up the same thing. The wheels, the inside of the rear rim area is actually hitting and rubbing on the top of the portal box. Now, I've actually did a little Dremel work on mine and clearance them to make them work. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I've done to make these work on my Capra. Take a look. This is the front of it right here. And this area right in here is where you're actually rubbing. So I took a little Dremel with a little uh, like a sandpaper wheel and took care of that on the front. And the same thing on the back. They are both rubbing the exact same way. Now if these wheel hexes were just a little bit wider, it probably would help that out quite a bit. And yes, from the pictures I saw, the stock wheels also rub. This is what I use right here. I just kind of rubbed it a little bit right across the top, basically taking those uh, top like uh, scale ribs or bolt bosses out. And you know, don't go too deep. Don't get into the actual gear area and I think you'll be okay. Hopefully the aftermarket will take care of this, maybe, or they'll just make it worse. The other issue that I'm finding is that shank right there, the uh, part with no threads on the axle. That's actually so far out that I'm having to shim the outside with washers so that the nut will actually tighten down. Those threads could go back a little bit further, guys. When you get the tops of the portal gears clearance, the tire should just simply move nice and free. When you get that, you're good to go and hopefully you haven't messed up and ground into the gear area. The other possible way out of this would be wider wheel hexes. These are obviously eight millimeter wheel hexes that I got off of eBay a while back and they actually fit just fine. They come with pins and set screw and they go right on. There's a link in the description to get these wheel hexes off of eBay and they work, but you know, they widen the track width up a little bit and we really shouldn't be having this problem anyway, right? So other than those two things, that's the only issues I've had out of the Capra. I really like the truck. It's just that could have been a little bit better thought out, you know, just a little bit. Threads a little deeper on the axle um, or further in and maybe the hex, you know, another millimeter out or maybe even a slightly different, you know, portal design over there. Really, that should have been figured out before they made production. However, it's a pretty simple fix. You can also buy those uh, extended wheel hexes about eight millimeters. You can get more than that, but I don't recommend it. I really don't like the track width added, you know, onto these things. Um, they kind of bring the nut out close to the end, so you won't need any spacers. But anyway, guys, uh, pretty cheap fix. And hopefully you like your capper as much as I do. Guys, there are links in the description for eBay for different things on this, the reefs, the homes, and all that stuff. So guys, thank you all for watching.